We're back with Floating Sandbox, but today we're going to be testing ships against Reverse Tsunamis. And make sure you stay till the end, because I'm going to be choosing which boat I'd rather be in. The first up on the victim list is the Titanic. So let's go ahead and spawn a ginormous Reverse Tsunami, and we're going to see if this thing's going to be able to survive. I've just seen a whole bunch of fish actually just fall in the pit here. Okay, this is definitely going to hurt. We're going to put the Titanic on full speed here, and let's see how it actually encounters this. This is actually like a really um hollow... It's not long at all. Here it is going and crashing down to the other side look oh it's split oh no the titanic i don't know if i'm gonna be choosing this one all the water is filling all every single one of the bulkheads oh wait is this part gonna float oh no i don't think this thing's gonna float at all oh wait maybe yeah not too good of a start all the fish are investigating let me know what fish these are down in the comments because i have no idea the titanic did not survive but next up on our victim list is the cruise ship so we're gonna be testing a cruise ship against a reverse tsunami we're gonna be just uh spawning in a small wave here i don't know if it's even counting as a wave because it's like a reverse wave i think that's the better way to word it oh my gosh all the fish falling in and we're gonna stop it right now put the cruise ship on full speed and this is definitely gonna sink it let's definitely see though what are these fish doing what the heck okay well we're gonna see i think it just broke the game with all these fish breaking out all right the cruise ship is gonna be slowly lowering into the uh reverse tsunami right now i actually see the clouds behind the tsunami i don't know how that's possible but here we go and we're gonna be calmly crack we already have some water filling it in that's concerning water is on the all every single top compartment's filled with water including the water slide yep water slides filled with water um oh wait we're actually doing really good here um oh no wait hold on hold on i i sense that we're about to capsize but we're gonna definitely find out oh it's gonna get close no no don't do it it's gonna capsize i feel it yeah that's not good okay so it's definitely gonna sink probably if it's gonna capsize here oh wait maybe it's not i don't know exactly what it's doing it's kind of you know oh i think it's sinking i really don't know what's going on with this ship right now it's a little bit concerning let's see if it'll flow and it has officially capsized water is filling the entire front section of the ship pretty fast there's water actually slowly going down the hallways so that'd be pretty fun if you're in there in real life uh lifeboats could still be deployed um inverted and underwater yeah the front part is sinking i would say this thing did not survive but just for the like uh funds of it we're gonna go ahead and split this thing in half and here we go we're just making a splitting point you know make this thing not as strong in the center here oh yeah there we go all right that's a really wow i'm surprised it didn't break yet here we go and it does look like it has split i wonder why yeah this thing did not survive next up is one of the largest cargo ships in the game reverse tsunami is spawning right now so this thing might survive this thing's really long so we got to make the reverse tsunami also really long here so we're just gonna completely uh invert it here until it hopefully gets to the length of the ship or even longer because these things are a long time to spawn in here and we're gonna stop doing it right now oh we definitely left a plenty of time for this thing to get to the bottom here we go we're gonna start uh our calm descent here momentarily i already see the boat starting to bend do you guys see that too oh gosh okay we're gonna be calmly descending here fishies please move it's about to just completely uh crush that shark oh it missed and oh it didn't split oh it's really bending you guys see the bend i don't know about y'all but i definitely do and it's gonna be rising the tsunami now oh wow this oh oh no oh the ship did split in half look at the red part just ripping this thing apart okay this is gonna be interesting once this part uh falls back down and it's gonna be uh going behind the captain's quarters because this is a 2d game it's ripping the boat apart look at it just dragged that big red line with it um let's see if we see this thing float or sink here uh light boats could be deployed but once again they're gonna be deployed invertedly once again i'm sorry about all the debris going in the ocean fishies i know you guys probably hate me for testing this stuff probably above a ton of coral reefs oh yeah i forgot to mention the bottom of the ocean is just lined with spikes i should definitely wait till the end here and we'll watch some things at the bottom all right so here one of these things is about to hit a giant spike it's gonna go straight up its uh <clears throat> back area oh straight up the propeller shaft oh my gosh that'd be painful if the ship had feeling um here let's just launch it a little bit harder here oh oh i love this game just because i can do that look at the splits just going straight through this is so satisfying oh look we got a pretty large part also going down here and it's gonna be landing directly on a spike here boom just going straight through it oh yeah and then this part oh oh my gosh oh Oh, there's something going on okay there's an earthquake we're gonna launch this at the bottom right here with all the other spikes maybe a little bit faster okay this one's coming in concerningly fast oh 
that's not good. It's going to completely fill the little crevice right there. That is actually really cool. It molded it in, basically. Oh, no. We got a Carnival cruise ship. I am so sorry. Every time I do TikToks on these Carnival cruise ships, I do add them in the caption. Uh, one of the times they're probably going to see it, and they're going to be slightly concerned and probably permanently ban me from the cruise lines. But we're going to go ahead and spawn a giant reverse and not. Oh, I almost let go of it on accident. Reverse tsunami here, and we're going to stop doing it right now. There we go. Sharky is just having fun over here. Is that a dolphin? Yeah, that's totally a dolphin. Okay, we're going to start lowering here. I forgot to turn on the engine. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a slight inconvenience. We're currently going down a reverse tsunami if you haven't felt it already. Where are we going in here? We haven't snapped. We just have a little bit of water in the inside. That's actually not... Oh, we're going to be launching out of this thing. Here we go. Just completely launching out like a uh, spearhead shark. I don't know what you call those things. A little bit of water in the antenna area, surprisingly. I don't know how that even got in there. Dude, how high are we? Oh, my God. Okay, well, we're just going to be completely belly flopping, face planning, and there goes the captain's quarters. I'm surprised we didn't see some damage there on landing. This thing actually might survive. Um, Let's hope it kind of flips back over here. I see it wobbling a little bit. Okay, I'm really confused on how there isn't damage. The shark is just witnessing a cruise ship bob up and down, out and into the water. I don't know what's going on, but I would say this thing survived. Next up is the color magic i don't know if this is a cruise ship in real life but um if it is i'm probably already banned from their company so i might as well not even try going on one of them i should definitely do a cruise ship vlog that'd be crazy imagine we went through a storm oh my gosh that'd be so scary especially after me testing all this stuff i would already guess that we're gonna sink but um let's go ahead and we're gonna be lowering here in the tsunami pretty calmly probably gonna be crushing some of these fish which is totally fine that is gonna be our dinner and we got touchdown right now water's filling a couple sections of the ship oh the what's it called exhaust or air intake is letting a ton of water and we're gonna be doing an entire backflip here let's hope we actually complete it or else we're gonna capsize and that's probably not gonna be too good oh it's gonna get close it is really gonna get close Please complete the backflip and... Oh, I think... Oh, that's not good. Okay, well, the power's out, I think. Oh, no, it's gonna flip, I think. Don't capsize. Dude, these ships are, like, really on the edge here. Well, that's quite unfortunate. So it does look like it is gonna be capsized here. The engines are still back on. We're gonna hit our horn a couple times just to let everyone know that we need immediate uh, Coast Guard because even the lifeboat rooms have some water in them. Now, of course, this thing may have survived, but we're gonna be cutting out the lifeboats here and let's hope this will actually sink the boat. You know, let's we'll draw, draw a couple lines through the boat here and now that it's sinking we're gonna launch it to the bottom of the ocean here we go all right which spike will it land on oh my gosh all the glass breaking ladies and gentlemen we are going for a concerningly big spike there's a big hole in our ship too that was just me doing some i don't know what you call them oh they're gonna go through just a calm landing here all just crashing in oh watch this back part Ooh, it just went straight up all the passenger areas i'm sorry we'll give you guys a five percent discount for the next voyage if you join us oh gosh let me get some rips okay we've already done a container ship but this one's made out of pure steel um i think it is at least i don't know someone said that it's made out of wood i don't think it makes looks like it's made out of wood but we're gonna be spawning a reverse and i mean we're gonna see if a steel transport ship can survive okay we made like a really small reverse tsunami hopefully that's good enough for this thing um this thing really doesn't have a whole lot of like you know advanced detail like the other ones but it's still pretty cool we're gonna be lowering here momentarily oh look at that that's kind of cool the fish going down but we're gonna be going down with them here they need to watch out because this thing might split maybe here we go we're going straight down it and we're gonna be rising oh water's flooding in all right that's fine oh we're gonna do a backflip aren't we oh no guys why do these boats keep doing this i don't know what they're thinking King. oh wait maybe we might flip back over this one has a lot of momentum to it but it got caught on the water that's gonna drag it down yeah that is not good i would say ladies and gentlemen on this one but there's really not a whole lot of passengers that would be riding this the lifeboat i think that's a lifeboat right is that a lifeboat someone to verify i don't know i would say this one kind of survived kind of didn't we're gonna launch it at the bottom oh okay well i mean it's doing pretty well it has split in half it's connected by like a single rope that's currently ripping apart as we speak oh wow okay everything's just going to crap here on this boat that's good that it's going straight for a spike so the bow section here is just going to slam straight into it just go a little bit up it with some of the momentum i'm going to relaunch it out at one of these spikes here oh we kind of missed all right well i'm an amazing spike thrower look at that that's cool though why did they add this to the game okay yep we're not gonna even test this one it's going straight to the bottom now don't get me wrong fortnite's fun but you know all right so we're gonna spawn in another reverse tsunami against this passenger ship here this is like a more realistic size passenger 
Raptor ship. Like, it's not the size of the Titanic, and it's not the size of a speedboat. So let's go ahead, and we got a giant reverse tsunami. Um, we got all the lights off, because when the lights are on, it's, like, blindingly bright, and I don't like it. All right, we're going down here. Uh, what kind of flag is this? Is that, like, an Iraq flag? I don't even know. Okay, well, we're gonna be descending here, and we got a little bit of water in the front section. It's kind of... Oh, yep, we're filling. And the rope somehow snapped underwater. Okay, I don't know how a rope would make, uh, or water. I don't know how water would make a rope snap. Water is filling the entire boat. Okay, so we might resurface here just with pure momentum of floating back up, but I think we might just continue to sink here. We're filling with water even though we're out of the water, which is just kind of concerning me here. Oh, yep, we completely sunk there, but we're gonna try resurfacing. Oh, wow, this thing's going down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please get to the light boats. Actually, we do have a light boat right here if you know how to deploy vertically and, uh, I mean, inverted. So this thing did end up capsizing like every other boat, and that probably means it's not going to survive. So let's go ahead and just launch this at the bottom of the ocean here and see how it does at the bottom. Okay, maybe not that fast. Nope, not definitely not that fast. Here we go. All right, and it's just splitting like six different pieces from the six different spikes. That was so cool. You guys already know we got the Britannic here. Wait, is this the Britannic or the Olympic? I really don't know. It's a hospital ship, and I don't remember either of them being a hospital ship, but uh, we're about to find out if it can survive. Play as long let me know what ship this is. I completely forgot. I just see a whole bunch of hospital signs. Oh, this one's really angling down towards the front here. Is the engine up there or something? Okay. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. We're getting dive bombed on, but we do just had our uh, radio tower thing collapse in right there. Uh, is the other one going to survive? Oh, it's a little wobbly. All right, that's fine. Oh, we're going to sink. I don't think we're going to resurface. Oh, wait, we might. We have a, quite a bit of water up here or air. All right, the air let us resurface, but that's going to be quite momentarily because I think we're going to go directly back down. I see like an entire indoor waterfall in here. Isn't that awesome? Imagine being like straight vertical in a cruise ship and there's just a big old waterfall in the grand staircase that'd be amazing okay well we're kind of uh consistently staying at the top here which is pretty good but that's gonna end quite fast here because we're going to be sinking officially so we're gonna go ahead and launch this at the bottom will we land directly on a spike we're going to find out oh, oh no that's bad okay a little bit too fast on that one but it did definitely not sink or okay now we have the olympic um i don't know why it has like a zebra uh thing on it but um wait is this a different ship than the one we i okay it looks different. I don't. I can't tell, really. It kind of looks related to the Titanic, so I can confirm this is not going to be surviving. Whether I have to sink it myself or whether it's going to sink itself, I don't know. We're going to find out. This shark is about to get a ship landing on top of it if it doesn't move. Oh, that shark is in for a hard ride here. Okay, it stopped uh, moving itself. We're going to land directly on this poor fish. What is that fish name? I don't know. We are... Uh, this looks about the same as the ship we just did, doesn't it? Like, the front one collapsed. The back one won't collapse. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just like a wizard. I can tell the future. Okay, well, obviously this thing's... Oh, um, okay. That was a little that was a little aggressive. Also, don't ask me what some of these red particles are. They may be some of the passengers that uh, were on the... Uh, the uh, they may be some of the passengers that were on the boat. Now we have the Carnival Glory here. I've tested this ship a lot on our TikTok here. So we're going to go ahead and just completely make a reverse tsunami here on the cruise ship possibly survive i think the engine's already on on this one i don't know what's going on here we're gonna turn it on i don't know i see smoke coming out so i don't know if i'm tripping or not but this thing has a lot of lifeboats let's see if these passengers can actually put them in use here so we got some fancy lifeboats towards the front and we're gonna be lowering bow section is crashing down and all right it's doing pretty good oh that's bad so the glass is shattering for the rums and that probably means water might start floating in that's a lot of water oh that is a lot of water filling this thing okay we're gonna resurface maybe i don't even know i wouldn't think it would but it is resurfacing here and it does look like the bow section has a little bit more water than everything else oh there's no way in heck this thing's gonna end up oh yep there goes the power all right that's amazing um it's not gonna float ladies and gentlemen please make your way to one of the 15 lifeboats uh you can deploy the last one here vertically which only like five passengers got to in time a little bit catastrophic here probably a, a lot of deaths uh the water actually Actually has really drained from this thing i'm not really seeing a whole lot of water in it uh than there was in the beginning but i can confirm i'm not gonna be choosing this one so oh okay well the vac decided to like implode on itself before we even like 
hit the bottom. All right, that's cool. Look at that. That's amazing. This just looks so cool. These are all the spirits of the passengers currently rising. Look at that. And last but not least, we got the Queen Mary here. This thing is going to be sinking on my hands because I don't know why. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just spawn in a giant one, of course. All passengers, we have a slight inconvenience in front of us here. We are just going to be calmly descending. So if you feel your stomach starting to flip right about now, uh, do not mind it. And we're going to be calmly descending our flight here. We're actually reverse in the earth right now, if you guys are wondering. Oh, and we're going to be crashing down. This thing is not filling with water. Oh, I jinxed it. Yeah, this thing's definitely filling with water really, really fast. Oh my gosh. Okay, the exhaust thing right here just let an insane amount of water in. Hopefully we don't explode or sink. I don't know what's going on. And we're going to be capsizing. Surprise, surprise. All right. Uh, we got some interesting looking light bulbs towards the back here that are no longer with us. Oh, this thing should be splitting about now. That is a lot of stress in the middle of the ship here. How about we help it out a little bit? We'll grab the slice tool. Just do a little, little cut here and there. Oh, it wants to. It really wants to. Oh, we helped it out. We did help it out. It did split. Definitely would not have split if we didn't help it, but it is definitely going to be sinking here. I think it still might be connected. It kind of looks like it's connected. I can't. Nope, it definitely just disconnected. I saw something snap. Okay. Well, I'm going to be dragging this to the bottom here. All right. They're both in separate pieces now, so we're going to watch both of them here. This one's going for a big old spike pit here. It's angling its uh, back area towards it. Here, go faster. Come on. All right. Um, and we're just going to be going straight up that spike. All right. That felt amazing. Next one. Oh, no, no, no. I think we stopped it just in time. Um, yeah, this thing disintegrated halfway down. Okay, we got to calm it down here. And it's going to be crashing down. That was so cool. But if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to go ahead, like, and subscribe, and join the Discord. We're going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys all for watching till the end, and goodbye.